As we've seen mortgage interest rates decline from a peak of about 8% down closer to 7%, I wanted to take a moment to show you the impact, to crunch the numbers, to show you the difference between 8% interest rates, what that means to your monthly budget, compare that to 7% interest rates, and also look at the difference between those two rates and the impact on your financial future for the long term. So let's dive into the numbers and take a look. So for the sake of example, we're gonna use a home price of $400,000. We'll do a 20% down payment, a 30 year loan term, and an 8% interest rate, which represents the peak rates that we've seen here recently. You can see over here on the monthly payment breakdown, principal and interest is $2,348. We have nothing in for property tax, homeowners insurance, PMI, which is private mortgage insurance, and HOA fees. The reason we're putting those as zero is because those depend on certain other circumstances that we're not really worried about in this example. We're gonna keep those at zero and we're gonna compare the interest rates from 8% to 7% and you'll be able to see the difference there regardless of what these numbers would represent in different circumstances. So um, we can see the monthly payment is $2,348. Um, and let's take a look at if we change that to 7%, how that changes the monthly payment. changes to $2,128. So again, our 8% was 2348. So we're gonna put that into our calculator. Maybe you've already done the mental math yourself. Then we'll subtract the 7% interest rate monthly payment of 2128 from that. And your monthly savings is $220. So that's $220 a month you would save if you were buying a $400,000 home with a 20% down payment on a 30 year loan term at a 7% interest rate instead of an 8% interest rate. Okay, obviously as rates go down further, you can crunch the numbers here as well. The mortgage calculator we're using here is from bankrate.com. Uh, no particular reason for that. I just kind of like the way it laid out here on the page for the sake of this video. There's other ones you can use that do exactly the same thing, maybe with different features slightly. But feel free to crunch numbers on this calculator or any other one that you find useful. Uh, but we can see a $220 month savings uh, so a lot of people budget monthly, so I wanted to show you that. Of course, if you multiply that by 12, that would represent your annual savings, which would be $2,640. Um, so that breaks down the monthly and the annual savings uh, if you had a 7% interest rate rather than an 8% interest rate. If we look at the amortization, this shows how the payments are spread out over the course of the 30-year term. The interesting thing here is to take a look at the original loan amount of $320,000 which is your $400,000 purchase price minus your $80,000 down payment. How much interest did you pay over the life of the loan? If you take it all the way out to term, you've paid $447,261 for a total of $767,261. That's if you make those payments from now until 2053. Now, most people pay off their home when they sell it or when they make extra payments, they can pay it off early if they're keeping it. So most people do not take it out to the full 30 year term. If you do, these are the numbers that you're gonna see. Now, if we were to change that to 8%, you can see the numbers change, okay? Um, so we can do the math on that as well. Uh, if we take a look at um, the overall interest that you've paid, Obviously, we're both paying back in both circumstances, rather, we're paying back the same loan amount. So if we take a look at $525,349 in interest and we subtract from that the interest we would pay by a 7% interest rate, $447,261, that represents $78,088 in savings if you have a 7% interest rate rather than an 8% interest rate. If you carry out that loan all the way to term, so if you pay it off for 30 years. Most people don't do that. Most people look um, actually rather move about every seven years or so, but just to keep it simple, let's go back to 8% and let's take a look at the amortization schedule if we were to pay the loan off in 10 years, just to make it simple. So if we started paying in 2024 on the first of the year and then we were done, if we count 10 years, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We would be done by the end of 2033. So if we look at the interest that you've paid over those 10 years at the end of 2033, that's $242,487.54. So that's the amount of interest you would pay after 10 years if you paid it off in 10 years if your interest rate is 8%. Um, if we switch it to 7%, 
that we can see the difference here. At the end of 2033, your interest paid is $210,000. $127.27 and we subtract that from the interest paid at 8% interest rate. That represents a savings of $32,360.27. Um, so that gives you a good breakdown not only monthly of what the savings is with a 7% rate compared to an 8% rate, but also what it looks like at full term if you've paid for 30 years. That number is also at the bottom of this breakdown, but it's also here at the top the total interest paid. Um, so you can see that there's a $78,000 savings over the term of the loan of 30 years. There's a $32,000 plus dollar savings at the end of 10 years, uh, which represents more of an average of what people actually do. Um, and you can see on a monthly basis, those savings is, uh, depending on your monthly budget, maybe a huge difference or, or perhaps not, depending on how much money you make and what percentage of your income that actually represents. So hopefully that gives you a good idea of the numbers the breakdown again you can change any of these variables to match exactly what you're looking for but i think the point is to show you that a one percent drop in the interest rate actually does make a significant impact for most people in their monthly budget and over the long term for their financial future if you have any questions about mortgage interest rates or you want to be referred to a trusted loan officer or if you have any general questions about buying a home or selling a home in the current market right now in the real estate market here in cincinnati or in other areas throughout the country feel free to reach out to us. The best way to do that is to visit our site at 513flatfee.com. Click one of the links there to schedule a call and we'll get your questions answered or get you connected to a loan officer who can help you as well. I'm Patrick Roser at the 513 Flat Fee Real Estate Group at Fathom Realty.